everyone, welcome to Alex518. So today I'm going to share the repair success story for this obsolete Parker Zeta 6104 micro stepper drive controller. Alright, for the background, unit model is already obsolete. It composed of two circuit boards. The unit have motor fault error. Let us apply the troubleshooting method I shared on my previous video. Let's go! The purpose of this video is to share the method of repairing parts. There's no intention to advertise brands, disclose private properties, or promote any services. Just enjoy watching the video until the end. You might learn something new. Thank you. Alright, for the recap, below are the four steps of troubleshooting method I shared on my previous video. First step, visual inspect. Checking for burn marks, heat marks, or any physical defects. Step 2, ohm check and diode mode check. Focus first on power area, for example, fuse, rectifiers, high power MOSFETs, transistors, and resistors. Then move to other areas and continue checking other components. Step 3 Power Up Test Power up the unit and look for unusual voltages, currents, or waveform. Step 4 Shotgun Method Proactively replace the components, especially IC, that are related with a failure. Thank you. Let's move to the next step. Step 1 and Step 2 have no significant findings. But on Step 3, the power-up test have found a 5 volt regulator module have 4 volts output only. Let's move to the next step. Thank you. In this step, I check the input voltage and the waveform. The input voltage measured 6.2 volts and the waveforms have glitch on every falling edge which looks suspicious to me. Let's move to the next step. Thank you. To further test the 5 volts regulator module, I removed it from the board and test independently. I simulated the input voltage of 6.2 volts and measured the voltage output. The reading is 5 volts which confirmed there's a problem with the circuit board either from the input area or the load of the 5 volts regulator module. Let's move to the next step. In this step, I sketched the schematic diagram at the input area of the regulator. The components involved are one diode, two capacitors, and a high frequency transformer. Let's move to the next step. After performing a components level troubleshooting at the input area, I found C1 was out of specs in terms of capacitance and ESR. The expected reading for C1 should be 10 microfarad and ESR is less than 1 ohm. But the actual reading is 496 nanofarad and the ESR is 14 kilo ohm. Thank you. Let's move to the next step. Here is the result of testing after C1 is replaced before the motor fault LED is turned on when power up. But after replace, the motor fault has gone. Confirm the capacitor was causing the failure. Thank you. Summary report. Failure. Motor fault error. 
5 volts regulator voltage output drop down to 4 volts root cause capacitor resource and capacitance were out of specs lessons power up test method led us to find the main root cause capacitor if out of specs can cause a voltage drop remarks unit has been running perfectly in the machine when installed back not much photo have taken after replacing the capacitor since the customer wanted the unit urgently so we are in the rust mode repair thank you thanks a lot for watching you can subscribe and hit the notification bell for my upcoming success repair videos sharing thanks again and goodbye